welcome to day five of Vlogmas. Can I just start right off by saying that you guys are amazing. My viewers are the best ever, ever. When I recorded day four earlier today, I was feeling a little overwhelmed by stuff, by everything I had to do. Um, I was like, when am I going to fit this in? How am I going to do this? And the comments of support and, you know, do what works for you. You have to fit this in, make things simple. The comments of support were so amazing. Thank you so much for that. But the best part, honestly, was reading the responses to the questions, to people's comments. Um, it, it was just, just general comments. I, I was laughing so hard. <clears throat> You guys are amazingly entertaining, and I think asking the questions at the end of every episode is the most fun. That that has been the most fun for me with this. So all of my stresses with Vlogmas, at least for the moment, are now gone. I am having a great time. I was reading through just other stuff today, and it just kind of settled my mind. So thank you guys so very much. Thank you. Um, for just being here, for sharing time with me. There are so many vlogmases out there. There's so many podcasters that are doing this and it is a commitment. It's definitely a commitment of time. Um, but I think when you've got such great, such a great audience and people are really enjoying what you're doing and you're getting all the feedback, it just makes it so much fun. And you know what? Someone also commented on, you know, they thanked me for keeping it real. I think it was in day three. Um, and you know what? I'm. This is real, you guys. It is Wednesday evening. It's pro It's a little after eleven. I am in my pajamas. I am in my knitting PJs, you guys. Ha 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 ha! They are so comfortable. Yes, these are from Target from last year. I haven't washed my 2018. PJs yet, my Hugo ones. Um, so I'm wearing my knitting pajamas from last year. Look at these. Aren't they fun? Um, my hair is up in my little wrap here. And you know, I am comfortable. <laughs> I am so comfy. I'm happy. I'm comfortable. I feel settled. I'm getting this done today. It's good. So thank you so, so much. Um, I don't have much more knitting to show you than I did in day four. Um, I'm still working on sock number two. I'm so loving it. I'm actually gonna knit a little bit as I'm talking. Um, today was a really, really good day. Um, the kids had great days at school. Kira came home today and um, they get all of their assessments sent home or tests and, quiz and th quizzes sent home on Wednesdays. And she got 200s and a 95 and she was just beaming. <laughs> beaming and it was it makes me so happy she's one of these children that you know if she gets like anything lower than about a 95 she's freaking out because oh my gosh my my grades are gonna go down and I'm gonna be in trouble and blah, blah, blah. but she did really really great and that's good I'm not I don't want her to stress over school um, but I do want her to take it seriously and she does take it seriously so that is really really a good thing um, so yeah, so that was today, and um, CJ came out and he was just all smiles as usual because he's just, I think, one of the happiest kids I've ever met. <laughs> Such a happy boy. Um, so yes, yeah, so that was our day today. Um, hubby is good. Uh, I was He was reading over some of the comments with me, and I really don't think he understands. Oh, and you guys, let's talk for a second. <laughs> Somebody wrote... They loved the, the story that I told about knitting the socks. Um, one person wrote, uh, knitting sock, cable socks for somebody I don't know in the middle of the holiday season, show me the money. And you know what? I kind of agree. <laughs> it's not terrible, I have to agree. I don't even know this person. But we haven't talked about it. He hasn't said a word. I haven't said anything, so we're just gonna ignore it. But the, you, you guys, your responses to that story were hysteric. I couldn't stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing. Bring her to a knitting, um, to a yarn shop so she can, you know, learn to knit herself. It's, it's sort of the old adage of give a man a fish, teach a man to fish. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm all about teaching. <laughs> I am not giving you anything. Um, it's not understanding the time. It's not understanding um, how much time goes into this, you know, and, and getting, yes, I can knit pretty quickly, but still, it takes time. I mean, I can't spit something, and this is a vanilla sock, so yeah, I can go at a pretty good clip on a vanilla sock, but to add cables, okay, we, we've talked about it. You guys know how I feel, so. Thank you for supporting and understanding. I'm sure you guys come into this. One person said somebody wanted them to knit a hat. A friend saw a hat they were wearing and wanted them to knit one. Um, and it was, I think, a cabled hat, or it was just a hat, but the point is they wanted, it was fingering weight and they wanted it in black. <sighs> just shoot me now. <laughs> no, 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 no. My grandmother, passed down to my mother who passed down to me never so black um, her specific um, phrasing was never so black at night but to me sewing black fabric or knitting with black yarn it's it's just it's awful it's it gives me a headache it makes me anxious I can't see what I'm doing no matter how bright the light is if you drop a stitch oh my gosh you split a stitch so black no 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 <laughs> so I understand to the viewer that wrote that comment I totally understand um, so guys that was my oh and okay I don't know if you watched my insta story today I stopped by Walgreens minding my own business I went into Walgreens to pick up a prescription and happened to meander down the holiday aisle because that's what you do at this time of the year in you know, the big box pharmacies. And there were toys and like little things for the kids. So all of a sudden I'm, I'm filling a cart with stuff like oversized Hershey bars to put in, in Christmas stockings and stuff. And I, I turned a corner and I saw this, you guys. <laughs> oh my God, it's a Harry Potter mug. <laughs> I, was, I was so excited to see, actually my voice is echoing in the book because it's empty right now um saw this sitting on the shelf and oh my gosh oh my gosh i cannot put it in the microwave it is not dishwasher safe it is not microwave safe um it's fine to drink out of it is safe to drink out of it can handle hot liquids so that's a plus um but even if i never actually use it i do hope to use it for tea but oh my gosh look at it and the scarf is the handle let's turn it around oh I love this so much so this was my little day five vlogmas present to myself <laughs> here it is here's the little tag so if anybody is in there's the tag if you guys have a Walmart near I'm mean, not a Walmart a Walgreens near you look for these I all they also had I believe it was Hermione I'm not sure the way the hair was done on the mug. I wasn't sure if it was Ron or Hermione, but there was another one, but Harry, Harry. Oh, there it is. I did it, you guys. I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. And somebody also commented on, I was pointing at something and um, they said, to, they, they wrote in the comment, oh, you're getting better with the pointing. You're doing good. I don't know why that made me laugh out loud. It's so nice to I go back to what I said at the beginning, so I'm going to put Harry Potter down for now, but love it. Um, it goes back to what I said at the start of this, that it's so amazing to have this audience that really is getting to know you and um, can laugh along with you. That's what's making this fun for me. And going back and really, you know, reading over yesterday and today's comments was just, it was so motivating for me. So thank you again. So anywho... We have yarn to open, we have question, I have a question to answer. The answers to the questions were so good, you guys. I'm, I'll share my answer in a second, and then I've got tomorrow's, or today's question, all ready. Um, so yeah, let's open some yarn, you guys. Um, let's start with Legacy Fiber Arts, like we always do. Here's my little number five. Oh boy, oh boy, look at this one. 
beautiful oh my gosh sue chelsea i don't know how you guys do it look at this and it's got stellina in it you know the light is not the greatest even though it looks bright it's not a really good light but i think it's a silver stellina i think but here it is look at that i just I don't understand how yarn dyeing works. I really don't, but it's just, I love this. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. That is Legacy Fiber Arts. And let's do a homespun house. I have it right here. <clears throat> wait, wait, any goodies? Okay, I only feel yarn, so that's okay. soft and oh it's blowing out a little bit how soft and beautiful is that you guys oh my goodness this is beautiful Molly thank you so much I'm trying to cover it oh it's blowing okay wait right right there I think there you can see it oh beautiful I love this little pop of pink these little speckles in here okay let's hold it out this way so you can really see it Love it, love it, love it, love it. Thank you, Molly. Homespun House for day five. And let's get to our Harry Potter thing from Yarn Cafe Creations and Dragon Horde Yarns. Okay, let's go in. And today's, all right, I know what today's color is. I just looked on my little sheet. Ooh, oh boy. Oh, look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at this one. Isn't that beautiful? This is called Flu Powder. Well, I can see that. Don't you see these colors when Flu Powder is used in the movies? I do. This is perfect. Oh, look at that. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So this will be put into the ball. It'll be ready for the ball. And someone um, commented, that I should check out the dollar store, dollar dollar tree store. Um, I'd have to double check in the comments, but try there because she said she saw these balls, but they're a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm def I have to look and see where there's one. I've never noticed one. Doesn't mean there isn't one. I've just never noticed. So I have to go and see if I can find one. Again, the balls, as you can see, they're they are filled over there. Um, you just have to get it, get the ball just right, and then boom, it just clicks right into place. So these are working, but I'm sure bigger ones would be a little bit easier. So let's take a peek at that again. Oh my gosh, blue powder, blue, blue, blue. Um, so there we go. That is all of our yarn open today, you guys. Um, yeah, let's do our question. So yesterday's question, of course I put the card away, but yesterday's question is would you want, would you rather have more patience or motivation and I say the, the response was sort of 50-50 maybe um, maybe a little bit more in the motivation department um, for me my answer is definitely more patience um, I can be very very patient for long stretches and then I am suddenly impatient there's, there doesn't seem to be anything, in, not much in between, which is really not good. Um, I want to slow down a little bit more. Um, and I find, especially with my knitting, uh, I want, I would love to, and I mentioned this, I think, in my last podcast episode, that I'd love to be able to throw my hat in the design ring. But the patience to do that and to knit and re-knit, knit and re-knit and rip and start again and rip and start again. That process doesn't appeal to me. I sort of want to have the idea in my head and then go from here to finished sock or finished mitten and that's impossible. Um, even with my kids sometimes, I mean that's in my crafting, creating world, um, with my kids sometimes it's I think most mothers and fathers out there would agree that, you know, you can be very patient with your kids, but every now and then there's just that one moment of, oh my gosh, just go a little bit faster, please. We're late for school or we're late for something or come on. Um, so I, I would definitely want to be more patient, definitely, with 
my family, with friends, with myself, more patient with myself. I think that's, yeah, more patient with myself. That's really key. So yes, that is my question uh, or my answer to day four's question. Day five's question. <laughs> this is fun. This is a fun one. No, no real thinking involved. Um, what three songs will always be found at the top of your playlist? Hmm, good one. I have got my three songs, I know, so I will answer that tomorrow. But again, what three songs will always be found at the top of your playlist? Uh, and that's not necessarily a holiday playlist. That's playlist. That's playlist in general. Um, so what basically are your favorite three songs? So if for anyone not familiar with the term playlist, that I could be phrased differently somewhere else. Um, so yeah, that is today, you guys. Tomorrow for day six, um, we're gonna be changing things up a little bit. My parents are moving, so, and that's been a long time coming. I think I talked about that in the last episode as well, so, or pod, big podcast episode. So I'm gonna be with my mom and sister for a bit tomorrow, um, out and about, so um, yeah, we're gonna get away from this space for tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure how much knitting there's going to be, um, and I may wait and open, do like a double open for day six and seven um, of yarn calendars, yarn vent calendars. So um, yeah, let's. tomorrow's going to be a good day. It's going to be a really, really good day. So I hope you all had a great day today, um, and I'll see you all again really, really soon. Thank you so much for re-motivating me, re-inspiring me, and keeping this smile on my face. Um, thanks. You guys are really, really, really the best. I love hearing from you, so please keep the comments coming. I, I, this is, I'm having, this is the best part right now of Vlogmas for me, so thank you so much. Keep the question, the comments coming, and, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Happy and merry, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye.